I can speak about Nick for ages. He's one of those personalities which is, or persons rather, who is so unconventional, real, honest. I would say without reservation that Nick was a genius. Great honesty, great energy, great forthrightness, great commitment. And then, you know, on the building side, just great vision. You know, I don't know about the rest of the world, but in North America, he was the preeminent studio builder of taking spaces and being able to see what they could be. There was just nobody like him before or since. Nick was very confident on what he was going to do. He told us what he did in Toronto. He told us how he did it. And uh, the rest was history. This guy had created this massive transformation in a part of Chicago that just, that was not what you expected. He was a fascinating man, incredibly engaging, you know, fun, interesting, but you could see the steel underneath. The sense of history that he carried in him kind of made him feel responsible. He carried the history as a weight on his shoulders. And that was our, our ancestors did so many great things, what are we doing? His uh, passion for his culture of origin never left him, but he was always committed to Canada. It really always felt like he had the best interest of the film industry at heart. You know, he was interested in training, he was interested in giving back, he was interested in helping young people along who were new to it, who, you know, maybe they couldn't pay today, but their next movie or the one after that or the one after that. Nick came in with his own purse and decided that I want to do something for this community. This is, the people here need me, I can see that. And so I want to spend my own money to develop these projects that we're talking about and expand this community economically. And that's what made him different from most people. Nick was always thinking creative. He was uh, very much uh, like Walt Disney. You know, Walt used to say, the more you dream, the more you do. And really that's, in my experience, the story of uh, Nick's life. Nick is the founder of the motion picture industry in Canada. Without his passion, without his determination, his drive, convincing people at all three levels of government, we wouldn't have what we have today, which as you know, our motion picture industry employs more people than the automotive sector. He showed me pictures of what he's gonna do to this place and I was like, wow, if this guy can get one, one tenth of this done, this is gonna be tremendous for the city. He had a passion with it, and it, it didn't take long to discover it from him. Nick had an idea that this building should be something that would benefit Aurelia on the long term. And his greatest asset, in my judgment, was his kindness. His kindness. There were a lot of things that Nick did in the community that very few people would even know about. He did not go around putting his name on things. He had made contributions and developed relationships, not just with the Greek community, but with the entire community. Those scholarships have created some of the most brilliant minds in, in, in musical composition in this country. I can start listing people who have benefited from this scholarship who are now stars in the classical music world in Canada. And all of that, you know, because of Nick. I have a plaque that hangs on my desk, and uh, when I look at it, I. It gives me some direction, but it also gives me a memory of, uh, of Nick, and it reads, a man's dreams are an index of his greatness. Nick, I don't know where you are. I hope you're sailing on a boat or doing something fun. I know wherever you are, you've got a smile on your face, and just know that you've made a lasting impression with so many people and put smiles on our faces, so thank you. Nick, we really want to thank you for the seed that you planted here. Uh, it germinated. It is growing continuously. Congratulations on this award, but your real reward is the fact that Cinespace is creating thousands and thousands of jobs day in and day out, year in and year out. And there's no greater gift that you can give a person than giving them the joy of a job 
And so for that, we owe you a big thanks. Thank you on behalf of the state of Illinois. Thank you on behalf of the city of Chicago. Most critically, thank you on behalf of people on the west side of Chicago who probably don't have a voice, don't have the ability to go figure out how to bring those kind of resources into their lives. But here's a guy who did that, did it and did it unbelievably uh, successfully and changed people's lives to the far better. And you just want to say thank you. I wouldn't be able to thank you enough, as you well know, Nick, and uh, God bless you. You have been such an incredible influence in my life. I have no idea who I would be today if I did not cross paths with you. Let your memory be everlasting.